Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we've got to pick up and play. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is only episode three of Pick Up and Play, and I'm keen to get moving on these. I've got a load of games up on the shelves that I've not played yet, and I've not put them fully onto the shelf because that's my commitment that no game goes onto the shelf without me playing it at least once. Um, today's episode is a new game that I've got in the mail today uh, Submarine Attack. Um, I've not played this game before. This is a game, and it's a gift from uh, a fellow YouTuber, Retro Red Steve. Uh, he sent me this, he had a duplicate somehow, I'm not sure, I can't remember what the backstory was on it. He sent me this, cart in the box, it's not too bad condition, I think he I was going for a better condition version, or I can't remember he was upgrading his or something. Um, so that's come in the mail today, and he has a nice little note in there saying, Hey Craig buddy, hope this gets there okay, it's a game that needs more love, think it will be right up your street. Hope you enjoy it, from your fellow Welshie, Retro Red Steve. Top stuff, mate. Thank you for that. So that's staying in the case. I, I like all the little notes and things that people send with games and stuff. So that'll stay in the case. I'm going to quickly have a blast on this. So the pick up and play format is that I put this in the console. If it's a game that I bought from CEX or something, I generally clean them up. This one looking pretty neat already. So I'm not going to give this a clean. I'm just going to have a blast on this straight away. Um, I'm going to put it in the console. I'm going to play for about five minutes or so. Give it a couple of blasts if it's a, a quick game and you're dying really quick or if it's a really long game and it's um quite in depth like i did on one of my other games then i'll probably cap it at five ten minutes uh, of gameplay cool so after that five ten minutes i'll come back onto camera and we'll do a, a little bit of a wrap up see what the game was like cool catch you in a minute okay so here i am i'm over the other side of the room i'm on my obs setup on my mega drive one and i've got the cartridge inserted into a master system converter and I'm running through my old Gato 6S system. So let's switch this on and give this game a blast. Cool, immediate. Love it. Love it already. Can't beat a bit of um, Sunshine Fade type text from the early 90s, 80s, 90s. Um, so we've got a submarine attack, which is a, a serpent type monster on you. I know nothing about this game at all, so Steve recommended it when he sent me it, and he said, you've got to give it a blast. It's uh, one of those games that a lot of people look over and don't really buy, and I have to admit, that was one of mine. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck in. So I know nothing about the controls on this game. I'm going to absolutely suck. It's a, a shoot 'em up type style game, I'm guessing underwater, um, and he said that I'm going to love it, so let's give it a blast. First of all, love the graphics, really. Okay, so I'm playing on a Mega Drive pad. Wow, it's quite responsive. Um, so my C button on this one is firing these forward, and then I've got an overhead to fire at the boats, and I can't kill that thing. Um, so massive thank you for Steve for sending this to me. I'm never going to reach out. It seems like I'm, I can't move quick enough to get to things. Oh, there's a mine chasing me. Um, check out Retro Red Steve's channel on Facebook. He's um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, oh, those helicopters are killing me. Ah. Um, I'll put a link in the description to Steve's channel. He's a, a fellow Welsh YouTuber, as I said in the, the intro with his letter that he sent me with the game, which is great. Um... And he does a, a series on his channel called Shoot 'em Up Saturdays, where he plays a shoot 'em up every Saturday, as you can imagine. Um, and I don't know whether he's played this on his channel. If not, Steve, you need to do a run on this. See, what, see, show me how it's actually played, because I'm struggling to hit anything at the moment. Um, Steve does that series every Saturday, and he takes recommendations. So if you've got a shoot 'em up that you'd like to see played, oh. I'm I think I'm flashing because I'm going to die soon. Um, he takes a, set, a suggestion in his comments and then tries to play as many different shoot em ups as he can. One every Saturday, and I've hit a bubble, which has killed me. Okay, so bubbles kill. Ah! Submarines in this game. Oh, hide from the bubbles. 
I can't get backwards. Okay, so when you press back, it just goes with the, the scroll of the screen, so you can't move back out of the way of bombs and things. Can I fire backwards? No, I can't shoot backwards. Lovely colours, I mean, the graphic, I love all the coral and everything, it's pretty cool looking. Do you think 1990 I would have been 10 when this game came out? And this would have been right up my street when I was 10 years old. Ah, I suck at it though. How many times have I died? Once so far, isn't it? I don't know how many lives you get. Ooh, quick move, move, move! boss. Oh, I can see. Down the bottom. Oh, there's a boat. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is stuff coming everywhere. Alright, I'm going to double button it now. I don't know that I'm hitting anything with any of them. Music reminds me a bit of a Mario boss level, and a bit like that one where it makes on Mario Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. It makes like a sheep noise. Hey, we did the first boss. <laughs> Stage two, one. Oh, so one life left. I'm guessing. All right, I, that was a good technique. I'm pressing both buttons every time now. I'm not a strategic shoot 'em up player. I'm a press as many buttons as you can type of player. I don't know what these letters do. I don't seem to be getting any kind of special out of them. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments what, what I'm meant to be doing, because I'm... Oh. I'm dead again. Oh. Must be on my last life now. Oh, I missed it again. It's probably not doing anything, so I keep missing them. I'm like H then, and what does that do? The bubbles, hide from the bubbles, hide from the. I play most of my games like I would in real life. So if I was playing Call of Duty, I'd hide in the corner and snipe and hide away from as much danger as I could. And I'm kind of doing that with this as well, just swimming around in circles trying to hide from everything and randomly firing at everything at the same time. Oh, it's an earthquake! Oh, volcano going off! I love this game so far. I don't think I'm particularly good at it, but oh, 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 oh. oh. man, that was great. So four thousand six hundred and ten. That was my first blast on submarine attack. Cool. Let's go back to the camera. Okay, so that was it. That was a fun little game, uh, submarine attack on the master system. Um, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I didn't know what any of those letters were coming down that I was meant to be doing with them. Uh, if you know how to use them, if they were power-ups or weapons or anything else, please let me know because that might have helped me get a little bit further than the first boss. Um, but I had a good laugh on that. That was a, a nice little game. Thank you, Steve, for sending me that. That was something that I've seen before, never picked up and never played. So pick up and play episode number three is in the bag. Cool. If you enjoyed watching that, I'm going to be putting these out every now and then. I got, as I said, I got a load of games. So I'm going to be filming over the next couple of days, um, ready for pick up and play videos. So I'm going to do that shortly, and I'll be putting them out every week or so, just as a an extra piece of work, extra piece of video, even um, in between my other projects that I'm doing. So um, cool. Thank you for watching, and I shall catch you soon.